Yellow, yellow, welcome everyone. How's your day going? How's your week going? Hopefully it's good. Yes, sure, sure, yes, sure, yes, sure. Hello, Mifa. How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we ready? We're ready, yeah? Mm. What is this music? I don't know that. Okay. So today we continue with our quest to enjoy Shoggy, where we do random stuff. I have no idea what we're gonna do today, but that's the beauty of the stream. Your Shaggy is getting rusty, welcome to my world. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Just talking about me. <laughs> it's a Japanese thing. If you sneeze, was it twice? Somebody's uh, talking about you. Hello, Bitna. Just checking the Discord. Everything's fine. No people are shouting on me. All right, what should we do today, actually? I have no idea. I know that I have to prepare the next line from our uh, Ureshina book. Which is more endgame, actually. The bishop. Okay, how long is that line, actually? So if you guys watch the... Um, the video... Uh, that I've been uploading on YouTube. We gonna do that next. Um, and now I will try to establish... Does it all fit into one video? <laughs> bishop, bishop, one page, two page, three page, oh gosh, okay. Okay, this would be the end of the big line. And then it teaches about... Middle game instinct. Okay, I guess that's gonna be the title then. Like a mid middle game end game approach. I cannot live without those. Those are like a book. Green and yellow are not showing, but <laughs> um, book. I don't know how to call it. The bookmarks, sticky bookmarks. They save me a lot of time to like divide the book into segments. I guess that's gonna be video three. And after that... It starts a completely new chapter. Alright, that, that sounds good. Okay, we will have the topic. I technically could update the lines uh, with you guys on the chat unless you uh, with you guys on the stream unless you have a different need or ideas Oh, this becomes exciting. Okay, the same line, but the king will be in different position. The video number four will be quite exciting. Hi, Jen. The only reason why the rook is being attacked by the bishop is because the rook exists on your side. That's an amazing proverb by Mifa. I love it. Didn't we have this silly... Let me see. Uh, who what? We did have those quotes. Let me do that. Um, add quote. Does the, the, that work? Add quote. I don't know if it worked, but we definitely are adding what Mifa just said. I love it. Uh, Me6? No, it's not Me6. It's the stream element. Yeah. 
I need to figure out how it worked. You broke it, Jin. <laughs> Chatbot. Chat commands. Custom command. Is it custom? Uh, volume settle. Cool. Set random cool. Show a random cool. Okay. Do we have the add? Add points. Mm. Yeah, probably it will be suck with the C, but that's how he wrote it, so that's how we kept it. Ah. Stream elements, adding quotes. Do what? Oh. Do what? Add remove arguments. I feel like I'm learning programming right now. That's that's not a good sign. Okay, so it's cuot add blah 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 and then mifa. 2022, what was the format? 0, uh, 11, uh, 24. Oop. Ah, so now if we write QOT, number 5, who is Gregory Melkor? Melkor. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Do not know Gregory. Because unlike unlike your name, his name is actually on okay, your name is actually on shoggy.pl too because you're part of the tournament, but he's yeah. He's the one who created uh, ladder. And I call him Gregory because it's Gregory. <laughs> Long time I did we didn't see him though, right? Gen 1 Harbor, yeah, you could say that. Do we have anything to do? Are you guys okay if I just like input those lines or you prefer to see it in the video? Uh, number is the eight, eight T, the one Gregory from Poront. Um No, that's Grzegorz. That's that's a different guy. Um, that the guy that you met, he he's not on our or he's not as active online. He's more active on Facebook, I guess. His name is Grzegorz, not Gregor. Gregor is English or American, right? Yeah? I guess. I mean, I don't know if whenever the Gligr means actually. I don't know if it's good luck, good rounds, or Gregory, but I call him Gregory. From Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Actually, if we check TT Series. Oh, we didn't have TT Series uh, time zones yet, right? 
We had we started at five. Yeah, okay. Legally. Yeah, we didn't ask people which countries they are from yet at that point. We are using um, Challenge, which is like a different website. And turned out they are horrible. Um, and then we simplified it and made everything on Discord so that... Well, we have more control over the pairings and more control over like who, uh, who plays, who's withdrawing. And this required you to create an additional account as well. So yeah, we decided. Actually, a lot of shogi tournaments. What? First five seconds beyond me nerd tourney. What's that? Tourney to Jaza. Oh, Mori test. Yeah. Shogi Hall also had tournaments here. It's kind of funny that the test shows here as well. And there's many tests, test, 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 test. <laughs> Alright. Who is leading in TTK? Um, I Actually, like there were many surprising results recently. But still cleaving. He lost to number four, but um, I think, yeah, he won against Koshiro. So he's a one pawn lead against Koshiro. Levin's gonna get a buy point. Ah oh, no, he has. Sorry, he has actually the same amount of points. Uh, it looks like he has the lead because he got buy point this round. Uh, so if Koshiro wins his game, they both will have seven. But yeah, the direct encounter, uh, Levin is winning. And direct encounter, as we know, is one of the measures. Although Koshiro's Essos sauce is higher. But technically everybody plays against everyone. Koshiro's gonna get by the next round, I think. So it will equalize and then perhaps DC will come. It's gonna be a draw. It's gonna be tiebreaker, I think. Anyway, those two people will probably fight against each other as a result, right? Because we don't have the residing king. And also we decided that the king plays the tournament uh, as a normal player anyway. So yeah, probably Divin versus Koshiro will be the uh, title match. Yeah, we stopped using challenge like quite a like year and a half ago because they messed up the pairings of Swiss. And I learned to use another program and I made my own uh, Java program to convert the results from that program into my HTML. So I just copy paste it basically. Yeah, that was a lot of effort, but yeah, now it's all quicker. Yogi Shogi tournaments. Oh yeah, Yogi Shogi. Oh, that feels like old history. Yeah, I think that's good, Mifa. What is Kairos Zodiac? Uh, Gemini. You've been out of the loop for a while. I've been lost most the rank that I have <laughs> when I was last active. Well, you're, you're always welcome back. As you know, it's called Harbor for a reason. Uh, if, by the way, if you're out of the loop, I started new series on YouTube. Um... It, oh, tips for beginners, yeah. If you're interested, we started that. Doing it daily. Well, Tuesday to Friday. And so far, you know, it's three weeks, four weeks, and we have already... How many weeks is it? 18 divided by three. Math. Um, <laughs> no, 18 divided by four, right? That's more than four weeks. You've commented on them. Oh, sorry. Okay. I I, I don't know because your guys' nicknames are different here, and um, but I always read it, so thanks for commenting. 
as you can see, I always react as well. Makes me motivated to do more of those. I am being honest, like, I I check it every day. <laughs> I wake up in the night and I check if you guys commented. And I'm like, oh yes, let's have a discussion about this topic. Like now I'm checking, we have uh, 100 reviews on the newest video, uh, which is pretty decent again after a night. But YouTube is scaring me because it's showing me uh, like a gray. Okay, those are green, you don't see because the green screen. But this is like gray and it says, oh, it's lower than your other videos. And I'm like, no. <sighs> it's really nice to have a series other than Hidechi for English speakers. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought you guys would like. <laughs> please, please do. Viewer accent, yeah. But then I realized that I have this metric here, guys. There's another metric that I'm working towards, which is uh, monetization. Grow with YouTube. Probably I should do that to show you better. Um, and we are almost halfway, which is super amazing. Um, I, all I need is the watch hours. And it was 1.5 thousand. Now it's one, almost 1 1.9. So we got we jumped like 400 hours, yeah? Even though I uh, throw 10 minute videos, we jumped 400 hours. So, and the more videos are uploaded, the more hours. And so on. It's gonna speed up, I imagine. So I just have to continue grinding, yeah? I was wondering if I should start making thumbnails because all of this looks the same. But I also imagine people already l see this Lishogi thing and they already, oh, uh, there's a new video. They have like this response. Mm. We also had discussion whenever the name should have the number in it. Like this says tips for beginners 18, tips for beginners 17. Like it might discourage uh, players from like watching it because they would be expected to read from number one. <clears throat> but honestly, like when I watch Hidechi videos, I could skip around it. Um, and when I watch videos like Factorio playthrough, I also like jump around anyway. I don't think it's an issue. Unless you guys find it difficult to read. Title. Definitely have word Shoggy. But Shoggy is in the tax, so. I saw it already posting on YouTube, but I was too shy to click. <laughs> click it, click it. Yeah, so Hidachi also has, but he has how to play Shoggy. Yeah, I guess I could add Shoggy to the. Um, where is it here? But I mean, literally, the name of our channel is Shoggy Harbor. Hidechi didn't have anything in the name Hidechi. If you think about it, we are a little bit better set off. I just realized there is something behind this S. Or here, you guys don't see it. I don't see it. There's something behind this S here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, in the title, but we have literally the name of the channel like that. Yeah. What's behind this? We will have to figure out, I guess. Documents. Do I have that picture somewhere? Actually, the other picture I'm using doesn't have it. The channel art. I have no idea where I put the channel art. This is Discord invite, yeah. If I ever lose that picture, I'm gonna lose that picture, it seems. Save us. No, that's not gonna save the picture. Yeah, so the reason uh, is also like YouTube search is messy and... I don't wanna get... 
There's no point understanding something that doesn't have logic in it. And I want to trust that people, you know, search for Shrek, they eventually will come to Harbor because we're so connected with other servers. And also there are many people who play Shaggy and they never search online anyway. It's a difficult question. Also, how much effort do I have? How much time do I have to like promote it? How much time do I want to spend on this instead of actually creating content? I think creating content is very important. I'm looking at the pictures, but I cannot find it. I never uploaded those ESC videos. <laughs> I had them ready even. I just I was like, oh, I just need to check the videos. And the closer you are to your goal, the harder it is to finish. I don't know if you guys have the same thing. Oh, wait, I found it. No, this is... Um, yeah, this is the other Hmm. Screenshots. Nope. Tetsuji pictures, what are those? Oh, okay. A random picture of hands that I needed to draw a picture for the... Uh, the um, uh, Sabaki video, I believe. Yeah, I couldn't find it, okay. Which ESC videos? Uh, so, like, I have the pictures from the ESC. And inside of that folder, I have videos, but in order to upload the whole folder, I would need to watch those videos if they have anything weird in them. And that's what stopped me from uploading everything. I could just upload the pictures without the videos. I could. <laughs> but I have trouble forcing myself to do it. I would just write it down, guys. I, I should write it down and I do it. ESC, ESC videos, maybe we can put it on YouTube, and ESC photos on the page. Let's do that, divide it into two so that it's more likely to be done. All right. <sighs> I'm told the biggest deal in YouTube algorithm is click-through rate, but word of mouth is the strongest methods of sharing. I agree, especially in our small community. 400 hours in a few weeks. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah. Considering we didn't move a tick since I didn't upload anything. I mean, I can show you the um, analytics. How do I do it without showing you anything that you shouldn't see? Hey, dojo. Here, YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to the main channel. The notifications, nope. Studio analytics. Maybe I can show you that. Morning, Gringan. Of course, the strongest way to evangelize Shaggy is rate just stream. <laughs> yeah, but it's also kind of like weird. Like, push yourself. Uh, if you know what I mean. Okay, if I do this, is it gonna work? Stopped working. Okay. Sweet. Oh, maybe it's confused because I have 281 dodges? Yeah, it's confused. Okay, so let's close this one. Come on, you can do it. You can find this. <sighs> How about now? Okay, it's very confused. Uh, where is it? Very confused. Do this. Oh, first is I do on the other. Okay, what about now? Really confused today.
Okay, I'm gonna make a new window that's duplicate of that. Duplicate. Copy. Paste. Okay, and then we're gonna hide this one and rename it to Y Analytics. And then we're gonna show you this. I guess this works, but my camera is kind of hiding it. Also, copy filters, paste filters. Gonna help a little. Um, I guess we're gonna do that. Hopefully, I mean, you don't see what's on this part of the screen, but hopefully it's going to be enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, since we started uploading those beginner things... Um, yeah, you don't see the full screen. Uh, do I make it smaller? I'm sorry guys, it's very small on your screen most likely, but we're gonna go with that for now, so that you see the whole diagram. Um, so what do we have? We have views, content, watch time, more metrics, time chart, daily, yearly. Okay, that, that's weird. I, I don't know how to... Okay, no, daily and this is lifetime. I guess there isn't much use by con. Weekly. Weekly is more important for us, right? There was like this big spike here for some reason. Road to showdown number one. But also keep in mind that this is 500 views, so it, it looks... Binoculars, yeah. It looks like... Um... It looks like it's... A lot, but actually it says 500 here, you see it? Here. So... Yeah. The big spike. I have to make it smaller again. Uh... Yeah, I have no idea how to make this layout work. We're gonna go with that. So then knowing that, and knowing that this is 2019 and this is today, um we have this big spike here for some reason and then we have November 13. that's weird this is total yeah total views so total views recently jumped you see Like this is total views on our videos. This number now is 1500, 1500. And then basically within this says October 23rd to 29th. So it's like one week. It got almost 2000 views in one week. Hi, Contetti. And almost 1000, almost 1000. And I mean, now we're in the middle of the week, so it's only 600, yeah? And so this October 9 is an important point when it jumped. October 16 as well. So if we were to check which video was uploaded then. I mean, it seems like many people watched the Japanese chess introduction. I'm confused. Why it doesn't show the newest videos? Anyway, October 16, we said, yeah, if we go back, go back, go back, 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 back to the main channel. Um, bah, 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 bah. 
if you look at this you will see now we cannot see that like this would show us when the thing was uploaded what do we have here the graphic traffic first for some reason i would like to have last 90 days okay last 90 days shows us more detail about the but this is rant about shogi theory tips for beginners one tips for beginners one tips for beginners one and introduction to shogi and then surprisingly it's showing like very low number of daily views i don't know if i should be weekly then because yeah okay 200 is more like it a few days each video had around 100 150 but it's okay i i i no it just shows one video i'm still confused it's maybe number one video the most watched maybe that's what's happening Haha, <laughs> the fish here. Yeah. Because this is Japanese Chess Shogi 101, tips for beginners. Rant about opening theory. Tips for beginners 4, tips for beginners 3. So it doesn't include the newest videos. Maybe. Okay, there are those here. Oh, okay, but it's like 50 views. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I guess the lowest numbers are watched more often than larger. Is this more understandable? Tips for beginners one. Many people are watching the introduction, it seems. Last 28 days. Tips for beginners three. First proverb. People really like the first proverb video for some reason. Then the castle. Tips for beginners, tips for beginners. So now you see more clearly when we lowered it to 20 days that tips for beginners is the most watched videos. Because all of them are tips for beginners. Tips for beginners 7, swinging minotaurs has 400 views, the biggest one has 594. And then if we analyze deeper, traffic source, we actually have a lot of people browsing it. Uh, but in external, I would think like Twitch or Discord isn't much actually. The browse features youtube is promoting us it's nice then united states of course because we're english speaking uh will be the most japan is second then france poland united kingdom and actually city's viewers age is around my age i guess 25 to 34 years gender <laughs> there is 1.1 percent of female And most people are not subscribed or watching it unlocked, I guess. Subscription source, YouTube watch page, YouTube channel. So yeah, people watch it because they're subscribed. And tips for beginners have the most views from other playlists. Yeah. Yeah, not many people are using the sub uh, subtitle. Yeah, so you see there is some movement. Um, then I can go and analyze actually in more detail. Like I can click on specific video. Like, let's say I wasn't sure how the return of the fish was acknowledged. So I check it. Um, I have this retention thing. And most of them look like this. The beginnings people click then they leave and most of you stay until the very end which is a good sign that the video is interesting i believe and then if there's a spike like here you can watch it usually sometimes i don't say something properly and you guys have to rewatch the same moment twice and that's why it spikes and we have impressions which are apparently important but um I don't really understand how. And then apparently some people like border collies there. 
or Veritasim and they come to my channel. Or come to videos like Hans Niemann update, Noob vs Pro vs Hacker. <laughs> yes guys, I know what you're clicking. Yeah. I see where you guys are coming from. <laughs> no, it's just that I don't save words properly sometimes and I also listen to it in the edit and I'm like, what did I just say? And it's like... Isn't it against terms of service? I don't know. Why not? It's not like they're paying me for it anyway. Unless the data of the users, what they're watching, maybe I shouldn't be showing that. But I don't remember there being anything about it. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, we're not gonna show more. Okay, where were we? Anyway, as you guys see, I'm quite excited about everything. Oh, it's working. Cool. Um, is this working as well? Yeah, okay. So, what's next we can do? Oh, I missed some of your comments. Um... All you need is now somebody with good salesman voice to make videos on why you should be playing Shaggy. Well, this is exactly what uh, Hirohigo uh, is gonna show doing. Uh, how to read books. Here we go. Can you read Shogi books with non-Japanese? Yes! Shogi House, that's what it was. Playing against fewer pieces is better. 10 Japanese phrases every Shogi player should know. This is my Shogi question mark question mark. Do you hate Joey show paintings? Do you hate end games being processed of carefully pushing pounds to make queens? Oh, yeah, that's chess. Do you wish all your pieces could promote? Ah, that's for chess players, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this is why you have this uh, Ureshino. That's funny that this shows above this one, but um, um, this one, yeah, 8,000 views. The best shogi openings for chess players. But in case of chess lifestyle, his, his channel name is usually chess lifestyle and he had chess videos, so... Let's see what kind of content did he have. Yeah, like literally most of his content is chess, so like... And I mean, this term that is uh, legendary. And, I mean... I have more subscribers. <laughs> Alright. Um, have you played Go? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, I believe it will be even harder to find shaggy videos if you're named Chess Lifestyle, right? But him having it on the channel is kind of proportional to us. <sighs> yes, it's also the fact that I cannot do everything. Like, if we had people like going out there and having... Uh, great streams with like chess player bringing more and more people in uh, having magnetic personality It all would be great, but like you cannot do both you cannot Do contact like, content like this which takes a lot of preparation while doing those. I mean you could But I personally wouldn't be able to as one person uh, to, Together with the streams like we have three streams per week as well. I just find it uh, yeah, exhausting. I, I decided, you know, I, I can do that because A, I can read Japanese, B, I'm a pro, I understand what I'm reading. And C, I believe I'm a good enough teacher after years of streaming to somewhat be able to explain it in manageable form. Um, and E, I can edit it, so I think that's something I can do personally. And then, of course, there's marketing and stuff, but again, I cannot do everything. Like, I have to I have to choose. So I have to. But that's my logic. Oh yeah, me too, maybe. Me too, but I decided, like, at least I'm gonna do that. Everything else is, like, um, secondary. So, TT series, YouTube, Shoggy wise, those are the two minimum and the streaming, yeah? They're the things I would like to do. Yeah, I could like, oh, I could study Tsume Shoggy on the back, oh, I could be writing the book, I could be doing million other stuff, but I don't have time for that. I'm barely managing this. I don't know how I managed to do so many videos, honestly. Maybe because they're short and I don't expect them to be perfect, but it also took years of experience to like not expect me myself to be perfect. Um, yeah, I mean, if you compare the number of views, like, to, to those videos that had, like, thousands, I mean, this is the song that doesn't compare, <laughs> like, like, those had, like, thousands of views, and if you, like, this had 12k views, right, because it was on the main page for so long, um, but, like, if you compare it to this and it's, like, 98 views, of course I'm gonna get depressed. But you don't look at it, you know? You just have to keep on going, you know? That one comment is really saving it, like, oh, I see people enjoying it. I will just continue doing it for, like, five people. Who cares? Maybe someone will discover it one day, like Hideji. Um, but I think it's... Also, YouTube, I believe it's gonna promote it more and more the more you upload, so... Because I think YouTube likes consistency, the algorithm likes consistency. <sighs> Good like we've gotten. I also would like to program a little bit more. Learn some programming language again. Like how many views Hidechi has, if we compare it. Let's compare ourselves to Hidechi. 571,000 views. But that's 14 years ago, so... Promotion video has one, fi one, five, one fifth of that. Then you have checkmate problems, which actually take a lot of more effort. It only has 22k views. Yeah. And then Hidechi, everybody knows about Hidechi now, right? Because he he was special. Yeah, he had a channel that nobody else had. Ah, uh, history of Shogi. Yeah. There is like this one good document about that. 
I personally not doing anything about history because I feel like my Japanese isn't good enough to read about it and then explain it. Kind of my weakness, yeah. Wojtek, yeah, Wojtek, the one that did uh, sh sh wrote to Shodan with me, he would be able to probably like, tell nice stories that he read about. He reads a lot in Japanese, I don't. Very special to yay! Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, Hidechi's video about the like historical games were epic, let's be honest. We're missing those, yeah, and I cannot do it because of copyright and stuff. Plus, Hidachi was Japanese, yeah. Hidachi is Japanese. Well, Wojtek is in another continent, so good luck with that. <laughs> A hype video day today is forgotten in two years. Chess and Shogi will be interesting in hundred and more years. That's also true, probably. Oh, you don't gain historical narrative from his video. Mm. Well, he at least introduced those amazing professionals, right? I, I, I will be doing those videos about Lady Pro trying to introduce them uh, for now. Yeah, but I, I think pe what people liked is like the fact that we were actually next to each other and actually I don't know what people liked. I'm just assuming stuff. <laughs> like it was something new, yeah? We sit next to each other and we talk and Wojtek friends probably watched it. My friends watched it, so then you double the views, kind of. I never uploaded part two of the final EC. Oh god. I thought I did. Oh well, it's a forbidden an existing end of the game, I guess. And I was really proud of those thumbnails over here, guys. I was I took a lot of time making those. But again, only it's only 500 views. By the way, you see the <laughs> you, oh, where is it? Uh come back. You see this uh, five crown thing, uh, Satomi's video. I later on because you know uh, they came with those copyright things and the fact that I have to ask the players to actually post a video about them. I asked. I actually went to the director's room where Shimizu, as you know, is the director, and I asked her, "Can I put a video about her on on YouTube?" And she's like, "Just." Please don't give me five crowns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she, I think she saw this thumbnail basically, which makes me laugh. Oh gosh. So yeah, the next thumbnail was a little bit less uh, of a. Yeah. <sighs> but there's something different between this was a game by this important player in this tournament and this is was a match held in one of the top tournaments with the title holder for 10 years is the last bastion of the old style against a new and upcoming pro yeah i guess that's what defines the historical games right they change the history but then it's even harder because you need to know shaggy history you need to know how it influenced current situation there are books about that in Japanese so one could read those speaking of projects I never finished and nine Celsius at that point I the best option for the hit on the board like face palming or you wouldn't learn much from penguins Now that I'm older, it makes me cringe even more. If cat can do it, so can penguins, Abigail say. Huh. 
<laughs> you know what cracks me up that those two pictures like slowly move towards each other what is this Prase, you know nothing you're like Jon Snow you're 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 you know nothing oh my gosh you have anybody with penguin to test this theory out maybe we should contact the local zoo <laughs> it's um, very I spent time editing right it here. uh teaching penguin how to play shogi <laughs> the fact that it also sounds like ASMR like whispering to the microphone is like <laughs> hi Niteva you're late but you're on time you missed the penguin talk by the way Niteva do you have a penguin at home just by chance you know penguin at home in your refrigerator as you were cleaning, did you find any penguin under the bed? We are trying to test if we can teach penguin shogi. <laughs> I guess that long silence means no. <laughs> the music, I forgot that. <laughs> yes. The music is the best part of this video. I was so proud of choosing this <laughs> uh, What penguins can only dream about play shoggy. <laughs> uh, so this was the beginning of our channel when we were like memeing more than actually creating shoggy content. How old I was? I don't want three years ago. <laughs> 28, I guess. Uh, I mean Shoggy Shoggy Harbor isn't that old, but we have like this sad penguin, like there's this saga that everybody awaits, which is this sad penguin saga. Oh yes. Where is the shoggy family? There was this shoggy I oh, know it was playfully. Okay. We had this uh meme one where Destiny, if it helps you when our game this where literally one. the point of this video is I'm gonna Oh yeah. Too late, I already solved it. Who remembers that phrase? Too late, I already solved it. That's from this I don't video. Say it at all. Too late, I already solved it. <laughs> I just said it on the video. Too late, I solved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, we had this penguin, which I still have, by the way. And I was testing how green screens work. And I come up with this, and then we have blind shogi with viewers, stuff like that. Um, oh, this is better as an overlay. Maybe I should bring it back. Um, roasting the rock. <laughs> yeah, we had this. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys see that. <laughs> Press E to have an existential crisis. E! <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, this is just a setup for a roasting video. <laughs> A game that needed guidance, but Nirok just left. Yeah, he didn't do the post-game discussion. Uh, the music is perfect as well. So Nirok was playing a game on stream and then, like, he left. Yeah, yeah, Bogeoku. I think it's Time Zombie. <laughs> I will take it. So yeah, he, he forced me to analyze his game and I made this horrible introduction. I'm not a bully, but I'm here to roast you. <laughs> Enjoy this silliest video I've made so far, Nairok. I forgot I made this video. And do the post-game analysis so that I don't have to. This is terrifying. <laughs> This is terrifying. And then we just enter into normal shogi analysis, yeah, you know? <laughs> just like nothing happened. Just to make sure 
I love Nayrock. I love oh, his stream. We're doing it only because he needs to learn how to do post game analysis. And I also heard it was a crazy game. So I have to take a look with you guys. I missed the stream, unfortunately, but well, time to make it up. So <laughs> Nayrock was sent in this game. I have to do more of those videos. The famous Bogyoku as his opponent. And let's see how it went. So he starts normally with a uh, Ibisha. Seems so far normal. In this type of mini stream, but I guess. Oh no. It didn't work for him to remember. But yeah, I mean, the, the following is like a normal analysis with a little bit more roast, perhaps. I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Well, six anyway, I wanted to show you the sad penguin. The, the, the introduction was like such a overkill, like. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sad penguin. Why do I? Why there are two videos in there? I don't understand. But somewhere in Argentina, there is a penguin. A sad penguin. He has no idea what to do with his life. But one day, everything changed. Something dropped from the sky. It was a shoggy piece. <laughs> and at that moment, the penguin knew what he has to do. He has to learn shoggy. By the way, this is the maximum skill of my, like, this is... I, I, I learned so much while editing this. This one I bought. Uh, I don't know why I bought it. I still have it, by the way. I have like, I'm gonna show you, I have like 10 of them. <laughs> the music as well. And so the, <laughs> the music is perfect. For a journey. He climbed many snowy mountains. You can see the, the imperfection of the green screen over here because it's not a green screen, it's literally like a green fabric that I bought from convenience store. But it makes it look like clouds, so I guess that works. To finally find the great penguin guru. <laughs> Please teach me Shogi. This path is long and dangerous. Shogi is an allied game for great minds, while you are just a small penguin. You are a penguin too? Very well, <laughs> I shall teach you. <laughs> And a dramatical slap. Come on, do it! <laughs> and so the great adventure began. <laughs> Can that penguin play Shoggy? <laughs> I know, right, Fantetti? I'm not sure if I'm penguin. able to do it now. Oh, Meili, that's a great... <laughs> Look at this dramatical contrast. <laughs> and that's all. It's like... It's the origin story of the story that never continued. <laughs> but everybody liked uh, I had a plan, yeah? I, I even recorded the next episode. I just thought it isn't as funny. Um... Clap, clap, thank you, Urhera. Avengers. <laughs> okay, members doing voice test. This would be so epic, like having people involved. Um, I'm, I'm gonna bring the thing. So, my collection is a little bit bigger now, and those are not all of them, but um, 
uh, you can recognize this guy and this guy probably and this is from Ukraine Dojo uh, they gave their logo and my sister then we have this guy I don't even know where I bought it but he looks fluffy and fat what does it say uh, this is probably either Germany or Switzerland. Maybe. Still Poland? Maybe still Poland because the price seems Polish. Anyway, like we have we have a lot of characters we could be making. <laughs> this is my favorite. Uh, I have like a bigger one. Like this is this size, yeah? I have one that's like 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 this, a Christmas hat. Maybe on Christmas we could use it. This is Penguin Guru, yeah, not that. Points to Anaguma shape Photoshop in the back. <laughs> Maybe we should do like a brainstorming session on Discord to create a story for the sad penguin. But I realized how much more fun. It was to just make the dramatical music and create a story out of it, rather than just explain Shogi, which is kind of silly. Being the Shogi teacher, making it as mimi as possible was is amazing. The other one, this one is the dad. This looks more like an uncle to me. Christmas special. Yeah, I mean, now that I have this, you don't see, but this is like a huge green screen. I could do it with more ease. Before I had to yeah, sit here. Which one is bigger? The same. Maybe those are rivals. Maybe it's like Guru. Like the guy who's like concentrated on the spiritual part of Shogi. And this is like this the um how do you call it? The material version of capitalism, like playing Shogi to destroy others, not to have play good Shogi, just like I don't know, Hikaru no go, you know, cheating type of things to get money. Now we listen to Anaguma song. Thank you for the f follow. I'm very lost in life. Okay. Welcome. You you found our amazing channel. Also, if you didn't know, we made video about the airplanes. Um. <clears throat> we are here. <laughs> and there was a whole story behind it. We are here. Oh gosh, okay, I've got a cringe. The rival, the rival, the rival was the emo uh, bear, but emo bear is in Japan with Wojtek, so I don't think, uh, emo bear, uh, <laughs> emo bear is the famous uh, Aprius Fuzz video. Where is it? Fooling your opponent. This is emo bear. <laughs> to showdown. Hello, my name is Solid Penguin, and I'm emo bear. And <laughs> so that's emo bear. Welcome, welcome, go player. We have some go players here as well. Welcome. All right, guys, you you listen to it. I pretend I'm not hearing anything because it is coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I lowered the volume in my headphones. Uh, by the way, it's uh, Jen, Nibich, and me uh, singing. Thanks, 
by Carol. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, Telemarch told me, oh, I prefer to use singing alone, but I was like, no, I'm no way I'm gonna just upload me singing alone, <laughs> alone. so DB is his amazing program to, like, adjust everything. Yep. This penguin, by the way, it's so rough. It, it's not, this is plush, yeah? Flash. This one is rough. <laughs> I don't know what's inside of it, but it's very rough. Ta -da. Krona was not born yet. Yeah, Krona wasn't playing Shaggy yet. I can imagine now this Kamehame Anagume Rush. Anyway, this is amazing content of Shaggy memes that used to exist. Maybe this is why everybody left. <laughs> <coughs> um, but. The echo of that meme is like in the Shaggy lexicon. Sabaki. Back. Sabaki is translated to Sabaki. But Shaggy Harbor, you say, that is no explanation at all. Fine, fine. Let's try to Google it. <laughs> yes, I had fun making those keyboard sounds. <laughs> okay, that seems wrong. Um, how about a dictionary? Okay, that explains the fish, but how does it relate to Shoggy? We might need to check a better dictionary. I have three of those, by the way, on my shelf. I literally have three of those. And yes, I did throw it. Okay, that's it's quite it. complex. Forget about it. That's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. There was something satisfying about Rome. <laughs> In the past, um, Sabaki was translated to attack through exchanges. That's Hidechi. But I video. don't think it's enough. Maybe better definition would be to develop the position by using the pieces efficiently. Wait, is it the video where the Simba thing is happening? Or is it the other video? No, it was the Furigama one, right? Or by <laughs> sacrificing them. There are many types of sabaki, and it is a difficult term to explain. <sighs> Personally, when I explain sabaki to a beginner, I like to say it is a peace heaven. Yes, you had to do that. Um, but yeah, um, you had to do it when I. Which Let's program see. did I use to do that? Six examples to get the right feeling about the world. I'm satisfied by the wings, by the way. Sabaki. Anyway, if you want to watch the whole video, the um, it's on the channel. Where is the Simba thing? Was it the, the pants? Zero for shake. Go mass. Before you start a game, the higher but that took me so much effort to do those. Player will take five of their central pawns, shake, shake them, and throw them back onto the board. Yes, I took the same word shake. <laughs> Beated it because it sounded funnier than saying shake shake twice for some reason. <laughs> wait, wait, what was this? <laughs> I forgot about it. Shake shake them and throw them back onto the board. <laughs> Looking at the pound count, more pounds means higher rank player starts the game, more tokens mean the other player will be uh. first. If the pieces get stuck on each other or any other drama occurs, long live the king. <laughs> Wait, did his foot disappear? <laughs> no, he had only one foot, right? Okay, just one foot. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you have to 
you have to acknowledge that the pawn kanji and having this kanji look like a shouting mouth is a peak of comedy. Then you need to uh. do the pawn toss. Once all is decided, the pawns are set up back onto the board and game will begin. So next time, before you start a shogi game, don't forget, don't your, forget pants. your pants. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, I didn't laugh so hard in months. Speaking, uh, but I cannot. <clears throat> yep, so that was the evolution of our channel, I guess. Then we tried to make some more serious content, then memeing again, then more serious content. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys pro prefer content like this, let me know. I'm gonna figure it out. Ah. <laughs> that poor people who joined this uh, stream today and see this craziness. I just saw Mizuti post in general chat that he the Urishino number one video helped him. Quite happy. <laughs> Today as a side note to our beginner series, I will be beginning a healer series called Totally Legitimate Openings, where we will only discuss the best openings in the game. The first opening we will consider is the Bogia concert. <sighs> if I only had enough time. Uh... <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should do that. I don't know how to make it funnier. Like, it sounds funny. But, you know what? <laughs> there is this, um, let me check one thing. Uh, there's this page I stumbled upon when discovering Ureshino. And it looks like this. And it contains a list of all the surprising openings. Like Bishop and Aguma. And there's like... 18,000 books about them. Which one of them I do have, I believe. I do have that book. So we could do that. Where is that book? I will check if they have interesting variations. But, uh, magically took it out of the Amazon. Yes, that's the bone cloud. Bogyaku is the bone cloud of Shogi. Like we could do, and, and this, listen, listen, listen me out. Instead of. I cannot type the name of my own uh, channel. Instead of having this, um, instead of having this, we gonna have uh, this. How about that? Yeah. This guy will be explaining stuff. Or perhaps 
Those guys will be explaining stuff. Or maybe there should be another video and meme only. I don't know. <clears throat> Just become a VTuber. I became a VTuber already, Lincoln. <clears throat> You just missed it. It was years ago. Before I had my camera set up, I I, <laughs> I became a red. <laughs> uh. You see, the king is the strongest piece and is in Among Us Shogi with the twenty seven. Of <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. Wait, do I have the red panda thing somewhere? Uh, is it somewhere or did I never upload it oh no <laughs> oh yes um yeah I don't think I uploaded or saved this. Yeah, there's just two. <sighs> yeah, I don't have the big Tobutsu pieces. Oh, you mean like, 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 instead of using Shogi pieces, make it more confusing and. Use those, that's what you're saying? That would make my brain stop working. I cannot see this position. <laughs> I just cannot. Plus, they're not that sharp when you zoom in, right? They're not sharp on my screen, Jigyo. which is annoying. <clears throat> By the way, also the fact that this is sideways, it's a break of Shogi Ro. <laughs> I think, unless you consider this the... But this is upside down, clearly. In that case, this is upside down. If we consider this the arrow of the wood. Yeah, I think this is too much for my poor brain to understand. By the way, already switching to those check pieces was a big deal for the whole community, if you weren't there. Hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. What you guys did? What game are you guys playing? Makers and crafting. Ooh. Do you craft Shogi too? Frost teaching. But her t-shirt edition. What? Yeah. Uh, nice. This is Shogi. This is like Japanese chess. And we were talking about how many different memes we were creating using penguins in recent years. <laughs> and what kind of memes we should be creating in the future to attract people outside Shogi or to make normal people within Shogi community laugh hysterically. Um, yep. We are brainstorming a little bit. I always have to adjust to see those tick marks on each piece, but the kanji is still there, so it's not as rough as some other international faces. Yeah, my idea is people who understand kanji can read this, and people who don't understand kanji can this so they can play together. <coughs> this new dusty sad penguin. Dusty. Who was Eon Grey again? What do you mean, Muse? DDK participant, very strong player. Da, da, da. 
Yeah. Penguin, do you want to have another series about yourself? You're terrified of people? You don't know how to play Shogi? You know we have tips for beginners on YouTube now, right? Mm hmm You want to try playing Ureshino? <laughs> I see. <laughs> you too, Penguin. You too, Sad Penguin. Wanna play Ureshino opening? The only Shogi opening that doesn't require any opening knowledge. <laughs> Yay, Shogi Shogi. <sighs> this guy also thinking about Ureshino. <clears throat> Me too, Maylee, me too. Uh, like Golden General is surprised Pikachu and Lance is a lone cat. I guess you can say so. I always imagine Gold General as a temple with a roof and Lance as a, an arrow. But if you see those, then it helps you remember how they a move as well, uh, C4. <laughs> the temple makes sense because next to the temple is a tree and this guy moves like a tree, kinda. Like this. So in my head. And also arrow means it goes forward, this guy. So... Pants would go forward. So, as you can see, pieces can come back onto the board. Now it was a check with a rook on the king. They had to drop a piece as well. Because no piece dies in Shogi. Ever. Should we make meme videos, Penguin? Or should we stay with our tips for beginner series for now? We're gonna burn ourselves out again. Unless, unless, listen, Penguin. We can... We can take a Christmas break, and within the Christmas break, we can come up with Penguin Story. Yeah, we could. It would require a lot of effort, and then it would mean we are working on Christmas break instead of having a Christmas break. <sighs> Life is difficult. I wonder if I have still those old recorded video. Really oh, we can take both of them now. Big, big. But then they drop the gold and take our bishop. <clears throat> Unexpected novel. <laughs> I was actually showing my partners your Shaggy 101 video and laughed a bit about how I post video. To show how I remembered some things, and just after unpausing, you mentioned the same thing. <laughs> Brilliant. That means we think alike. That's good. How did I come up with the video story anyway? I mean, it's a most general story of small student meeting the guru penguin, right? And then you, what's the most stereotypical story from there? Rocky, hard training. Who's winning here, actually? I think Eon might be a little bit in trouble. I mean, this king is safer. And my brain is getting distracted, guys. I'm talking about one thing and the other second I'm talking about another. <laughs> uh... A close game. Okay, back to the penguin. So the idea was he meets his rival, then he loses, then he trains hard to once more meet that rival in the future. That was like the main idea for the sad penguin story. But then How do we make it more epic? <laughs> because the origin story was so epic with the music and everything. Maybe like anime style? Like faces jumping into the camera. I don't know. 
<clears throat> you love it already. All right, all right. Writing down. Anime buttons. Cue the Pokemon music. Paradoxally, even though it's a video about Shaggy, you don't wanna put heavy Shaggy theory in it. It's so silly when you do the Shaggy videos. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! You just come up with rules out of nowhere. References. Losing. To rival. Training. Fight. And I think there should be a narrator because that's how the story started, right? And I think having a narrator will give the story pacing, which normally you wouldn't have without some elaborate ways. The only way to block it is actually by drop something here, I believe. Be a lance or a knight. Then they can take it, and we take and they take it. The other way would be to make an escape. Oh, bishop drop. Ooh, that's smart. This way we're not gonna lose a piece. But again, drop another bishop. And take the gold. Looks good for Eon, maybe. <clears throat> Well, the important thing in any sports anime is the critical question, for whom do you fight, or for what do you fight? Oh yes, the uh, character development, yeah? Penguin finding out that Shoggy actually is more meaningful to him than anything in the world. I actually don't know much about Final Fantasy, unfortunately. <clears throat> but if you guys give me the reference, I shall put it. It's losing. Or is it? They're gonna drop the pawn here, right? Technically, he has three attacking pieces. Should be losing. Maybe it's barely winning in that case. <coughs> like we need Hishi, so pound promotion, king runs, all goes here is a Hishi, technically speaking. Silver, where? Oh, you mean here? I think they can still take, take, drop the pawn. Um, if you run, then they drop the bishop behind the silver. So either you would have to give another silver. Which could lead to Sanishita or anything, but... Probably not. Because we can drop 7-4 bishop. 
409 I mean 7 for what? 409 Misha So I wanted to drop here because then I can promote my rook while defending. Oh, I forgot about this move. Oh, wow. Ah, wait, I forgot about this move existing. <clears throat> Pound drop. Oh, no, Nifu. Okay, never mind. Now we get one piece or another, we drop it here and we win. This is brilliant. So maybe the rook drop on this square was particularly unlucky. Another technique you could have used here was perhaps like distract them for a moment. Like this, this, try to make an escape route. But I think again it's the same thing. Like this. And this de facto leads to Hishi again. Third time win. Nifu is best new best foo, yeah. <clears throat> nice group. I know. <sighs> hmm. Another drop three nine. Ian Gray is strong. Like it's not about getting anymore. He is strong. He studied lightning speed and game by Tanigawa. He watches and analyzes pro games in depth. He has a lot of passion for Shogi, so naturally he's gonna level up quickly. <clears throat> I mean we had a bunch of people who level up quickly and get very strong very fast, but uh, questions for how long, yeah? Like, we have some people that are burning out, but Eon so far doesn't seem to show any signs. Nice. Uh. Hey, very grip. And do you believe in this Anaguma? Is it some reference? I don't understand. Anaguma story, this forge of falsehoods, its tempi are built on deceit, and its fight is an instrument of sacrifice. Interesting. This rook on 3 6 is a really great defender. Let's go on or nine. Because they went back, we have another Tempe. We want to promote the rook to 3-2. We want to drop the bishop or promote the bishop to 3-3. Three, three. Take, 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 take. And he has no generals to use to win. Like, I think Sent is, Sent is better here, but I don't like this move. I guess you don't want to attack from heavy side, but I think it's good because then our rook doesn't become a target. I don't know. We want pounder. 
Mm. I see. The rub of another game appears on the screen. Such devastation. This was not my intention. <laughs> yeah, I unfortunately don't know the Final Fantasy, so I'm pretty sure I would be like, wow, such. I mean, it sounds like a great reference. I just missing the. Sounds like a great thing to input into the video or the meme channel. Okay. But hand. Uh, hand is not the, the, the translation of the word move, but I understand the kanji. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, the... Can I zoom in? To, no, I cannot zoom into the chat. But like the kanji of move in shogi means hand, actually. So this is why he just chose the wrong translation. If you see Japanese writing hand, that means move. You can parody anything. Cool. This is very badly drawn crunch. I once wrote a Majan parody of Pom 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 on that ID. I don't know. I don't know, unfortunately. I I don't know if you guys know the game Spyro. It was a game on PlayStation 1 and 2. With a dragon. Um... I really want to play it again. Uh, anyway, I used to make like a something that's called nowadays a fan fiction. Like I would create stories with him and Hunter and uh, whatever the name of the flying thing was like. And when I grew up and I read those stories, I was like, wow, I had such a imagination, yeah. Carol Spiros fan fiction reading on stream went well. I think it's in Poland. It's not here. I'm pretty sure it's in a pink notebook in my wardrobe. Just that I don't have it right now with me. And I'm not sure if it was written in English or Polish. So <laughs> it was quite silly, you know, like oh he's being captured and he runs away and uses his horns to like break through stuff, stuff like that. Like <laughs> Shut up, yellow. <laughs> what mistake. I mean, we could definitely play Spyro on the stream one day. I... You don't understand, Uhrere. I beat... All the Spyro with 100% of competition. And when I came on Christmas back last year, I think I beat one or two games in one day. 
That's how I knowledgeable I am about this game. Uh, I mean, not not glitch knowledge or anything. Just pure like, oh yeah, I remember this map. Oh yeah, I do that. Oh yeah, like remember everything. I even remember the theme music. Oh God, stop playing the theme music, brain. Yeah, uh, Yellow, we spent the whole stream talking about memes and sad penguin and um, all of our older videos. I brought all the penguins here and then we just randomly came and joined your game and watched it and like... It, it's not like we were seriously watching it. Or concentrating. I was thinking like... I was like brainstorming penguin ideas as well. Shogi memes, yes. Uh, we have also Final Fantasy memes from maybe memes uh, references, I guess. But then I was also explaining how I cannot do everything alone. Like those videos take big chunk of my time so if i were to make videos on top of those it would be pretty hard plus the the problem with videos like sad penguin or sabaki video or something that requires some level of inspiration um straight if cat can do it which is just you know you just need that spark you were definitely surprised, yeah, because I set up a goal for myself and finally working on it. I was like, doesn't matter what I talk about, I need to make a video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were also looking at the analytics, yellow, and uh, definitely tips for beginners is the most watched. Getting closer to monetization. It's slowly, but like better than nothing. Yeah, and then the fact that comments like, I came back to Shaggy thanks to your videos, or I finally like, got to freak you thanks to you, or something like this, were a few of the examples. Finally, somebody made a good video about Urishino, or something like that. It gives, gives confidence. I mean, those are not perfect. I don't understand what is, you know. I'm just reading the book. I hope you guys understand. Yeah, the fact that I don't expect it to be perfect, unlike those videos, uh, where I, like, stress about it and edit in detail, every breath, whatever. I guess I grew. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I mean, even if I'm mistaken, what I'm saying is most likely right because I have the Shoggy experience. So let's just put it there. Even if I'm not right, who cares? <laughs> Somebody will gain something from it anyway. Maybe they will gain the fact that they corrected me at, at, at worst, yeah? Like, for example, this book, there is a chance this book is old because it is. And as I said, the first line uh, is incorrect, as I explained the first video. But who cares? We're going to read it anyway. <laughs> what's a co-writer i have no idea what's that how do you co-write for shogi without having the same level of gameplay uh, experience yeah this is why i decided like mondays and friday well friday should, maybe i should take fridays like I definitely don't do anything serious on Friday. Anyway, Mondays are like three days. But on top of it, I have to do the pairings. So now we're... On Sunday, Saturday, I make sure I just do the stream, nothing else. So like, I do take care of like taking breaks. I decided not to do Tuesday streams for the same reasons, like it was too much. I mean, those streams today, Thursday streams, are too much fun to like pass on the <laughs> mic. 
my god, I laughed so hard today. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, because I'm doing this book, basically what I'm doing is also working on my Japanese, which is motivating, and I'm not coming up with this theory myself, which will be exhausting. I'm just translating it. And at the same time, because I'm ordering them and putting in the videos makes me learn something as well. Those, I, I tell you guys, those Japanese books, I hate them. I, I hate the way they, all the, like all the Japanese books, they follow the same pattern. And it's so hard to follow. Like they say, oh, we're coming back to Diagram 4. And then you have to flip back and you spend 10 hours trying to find which variation it was. and then. Thanks to Lishogi, I, I don't know if you saw how I divided it on Lishogi. Um, like, I put this... I don't know if you guys see. I put this, like, mark. That this is, like, variation number one, then you go deeper. And then I put one and two as variation deeper, variation one, deeper, variation two. But then you go deeper, 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 which is, like, three marks. And then I go to A to B. And then we go back because it's two marks and it's three. It's one, two, three. This is how the book is written. It's so hard to follow. <sighs> so basically here, we come back here to this page, which by the way is page 14, I believe, and this is page like 30. <sighs> Very hard. And then of course in those you have, I don't, the newest video had like those four variations which I try to explain in very like approachable way. Silver line H, I think it was called. I don't know why it disappeared, but I like those those are hard. <laughs> Logistical nightmare, that's what I would call it, yeah. Yeah, definitely physical shaggy sets helps as well. I'm just too lazy. I'm just trying to read it and put it in my brain. Like, you know how some streamers have a second commentator who plays the beginner surrogate so that beginners can understand some ideas of pro games. Yeah, but that takes more effort, paradoxically. Like, um, stream 24 hours per seven. I don't think it's beneficial. I get tired after one hour and a half usually, or two hours. I don't feel fun, and I don't think more people come to watch those streams. From my experience, yeah, I've, I've done longer streams as well. I don't think, like, when we have those Sunday or Saturday streams, people are expected to be there. They know what we're gonna do. And if they feel like it, they come and watch it. I think that's more important than doing long streams and then you burn out because you do long streams yeah because we have a set up topic on saturday and sunday i don't even have to like think what i'm gonna do we just do it requires less energy and it's more efficient yeah i i should i never like read it fully i should finish it as so. well Tanigawa reading book stream when? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> this is this is type of the book that you should study alone if it makes sense. Nope, never. This is why I'm probably weak. As you know, I have problem finishing stuff. Whenever sending out, sending out the stupid certificates, putting ESC photos on the web page, even though I have them ready for half a year. Whenever it's finishing editing the penguin episode two, sad vi uh, sad penguin episode two, I never able to finish stuff, and this is why this new series that we're doing, tips for beginners, is so important to me because I concentrated on. It doesn't matter. You upload one video a day, you finish it, and that's the goal. I guess I'm working on my habits this way. 
Well, I did a lot of Sumishogi and I did my own study, but the fact that I hit a wall is that, yeah, I just couldn't find out what I'm missing and finish it, I guess. Episode 4, Return of the Penguin, yeah. I does that takes more work. I was thinking of terms of finding one other person who delegates the tasks. Um, yeah, but there's also the satisfaction of you coming up alone with those ideas. So it's not like we're a company and I'm earning money from it. I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess if you want to evolve, you should. Ask people for help, and then you have more work workforce, I guess, and you're able to do more. But I was never able to. Maybe I should. I was hoping, like you know, we have those streamers on our channel that we all could upload for Shoggy Harbor. But then, uh, you you see how it goes. Yeah, we have streamers, then they burn out, then they take a break forever. <laughs> And then we end up with empty channels. So I, I stopped expecting stuff from people. Yeah, everybody hits a wall. Yeah, but I've hit it for like years now. And I, I am out of hope. Um, it is negative. It is. There's a difference between champions and not. Um, and also, I, I saw a video recently. I don't know. Um, it made me think, but uh, there is like this thing of time versus I don't know, time versus enjoyable enjoyableness. I don't know. You would think that the more time you spend on something, the more enjoyable it becomes. Yeah, but actually, it's not true. The more time you spend, the least like it becomes equal. So first, when you do something like let's say original origin of sad penguin it's fun but then if you were to continue it it becomes work yeah same with everything same with yogi same finishing stuff like this is when you work on a project you start a project exciting fine, and then you have to finish it there's not much benefit into you finishing it because you know it's not more enjoyable that you finish it or not and this is what the the wall again that i usually hit Diminishing marginal returns. I don't know what that means. I heard it before. Low of diminishing marginal returns. Um, after some level, optimal level of capacity is reached, adding additional factor, production will eventually result in a smaller increase of output. Yeah, something like that. Like it's rarely visible. I guess Thursday streams became my therapy session. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> if we all could be perfect, the world would be perfect, but that's not how it works. Yeah, that's true. Mm, yeah. 
So for now, kind of this series is like a challenge for myself to myself to see if I'm like able to continue it. If it spreads out to other parts of life, like being able to send those certificates out and so on. It's so stupid. It's like I have it ready. All I have to do is print it out and do it. <laughs> Something is just stopping me. It's so stupid. Like the, the fact that I'm talking about it. Oh, Caro is weird. You probably will think, but like it's so stupid for me. <sighs> but again, starting a project is easier than finishing it for me. All I can say is my biggest obstacle to keeping up things is that feeling of being alone in it. The big, then the backslide hurts so much more. You're there alone with your mistakes. <laughs> Uh, this is why community is so important. This is why harbor is important. I think to not be alone with those. Whenever it's your surrogate study, or our therapeutic discussions, the chess, the background drama, whatever we all can talk about. Fun. And then you start researching stuff online and you find out, oh, people with HDHD also don't like finishing projects. Maybe I have HDHD, oh, but I don't know. And then you keep getting distracted forever. Apart from doing the actual thing, you start researching the why you cannot finish it <laughs> instead of finding the solution. You end up circling for hours and then you forget about it and do something else. That, that's how my life works. <laughs> Uh, maybe tips for beginners, guys, is just one big distraction for me to not finish other projects. Maybe that's the truth. Maybe that's why I'm able to do it, because I'm continue distracting myself. Like, you know, like when you clean your house to not do your homework. <laughs> yeah, but it's no excuse, is it? So how is your quest doing? The quest itself feels like hitting a wall. Maybe you could use a side quest. Um, I mean, we had so much laugh today. Like mentally, it was fun. I, re yeah, we had a lot of laugh today. That's the best way to enjoy stuff, I guess. Uh, but of course, it's a quest to enjoy, not to improve actually. So we didn't improve much, but we did enjoy a lot. We are talking whenever we should be making more shuggy, meme shuggy content, basically. Never trust internet diagnosis, yeah. Yeah, some things may work for you, yeah. I, I, yeah, even if you don't have it, some tricks may work, I agree with that, probably. Yay, the quest is moving forward. How to force yourself to finish boring tasks. Five tips on making boring tasks more engaging. That's not my question. How do I force myself to do? No, that's not my question. How can HD, HD... See, this is like the first thing that... <sighs> complete boring. Complete thing. Complete finish. Not now. I don't even have patience to read it. Give me the answer. <laughs> this strategy. Okay. Uh, I have to read it, I guess. So I devised a different kind of reward. I let myself attend seminars on topics I was curious about that lay outside of my immediate field. For example, one day I remember telling myself, if I get this report submitted on time, I'm going to go seminar on pathology. Okay, so it's the reward system. Uh, just for fun, strategy began to shift. I was optimistic at the same time. My need for fun rewards multiplied because bureaucratic tasks started to stop my to-do list. I would just go to the seminar no matter what I did. 
that doesn't help me. Eat data, yeah. Yeah, but then the... complete. Let's just how to motivate yourself to finish big tasks. Why Google made it one, two, three, four, five, and here it doesn't have one, two, three, four, five? I don't understand how Google works. How to motivate yourself to do tasks you don't want to do. Perfect. No matter how generally motivated you are, all of us have a task that we don't want to do. Maybe we find them boring, pointless, draining, time consuming, annoying, or anxiety producing. Oh, yes. So, how do you get moving in those type of situations? The first step is to recognize that getting motivated doesn't mean that you have to experience a particular feeling like excitement or anticipation. Recognize that brain. You don't have to be motivated. Excited about something to finish. Okay. Instead, motivation is simply one or more reasons you have to, you, uh, one or more reasons you have for acting in a certain way. Motivation is reason. Uh, okay, so I have some reason to do something. Yeah. You can decide to do something without ever getting excited about it by finding a personally meaningful why. Well, I am doing my Tips for Beginners series. It is kind of exciting, but I'm also doing it because I have a reason for it, because I want it to, which is opposite of that. Well, I set up a goal for myself. So why is it stopping me from finishing the other tasks? You can decide something without getting excited, blah, blah, blah. For example, you can choose to do something because it will lower your anxiety. I guess that's something that motivates me the most nowadays. <laughs> oh, guys, you're typing. Uh, I always had Reddit. Oh, that's a good point. The biggest bit of advice I've heard in reference to these products is you just have multi projects so that when you flag behind one of them, you can switch to another. Yeah, but then I ended up switching forever, my dear friend. Forever. Benefit someone you care about. Well, you could say I'm happy that people like my videos, so it, it benefits them, but someone who you care about. I mean, I understand, it's just I never had a lot of occasions to do so. Leads to financial gain. Uh, sure, if I get monetized, it's gonna be financial gain, even if like one dollar per month would be nice. Avoid a negative consequence, which is deadlines and stuff. Uh, which actually is opposite of this. I mean, kind of connected. Make you feel good about yourself, definitely. Clear your mind, align your values with progress, which is the same. Uh, I'm already bored by this article. <laughs> it's like they give me all those reasons, but I want the answer right now. This is like a whole... Involving other people. Yeah, that, that doesn't work for me usually. Another set of action letters are how you structure your approach to the work. Pull a low frequency activity instead of high. High frequency is opening email. Low frequency is finishing report. Something that you do less often first. Because it's more 
training, I guess, for your brain. Set the bar low. I need that. <laughs> uh, leaving the time commitment. That's good, actually. I found out recently as well. Like, because I make shorter videos. You've done it personally as well. I'm starting to hit a stride where the things I'm switched between are all the things are too high up. On the yeah. You just avoid them until it's... Yeah. Reddit. How do people just get things done? <sighs> I try to do list planner, schedule, time boxing, you name it. Um, but when I go to sit down and get to work, I take a look at everything that I need to do, think about stuff I could need to be done, deadlines going up, and I just freeze. That sounds familiar. Instead, I took distractions in video games, cleaning house, going through playlists, music. That sounds familiar. I end up doing this on the last minute and then cram to meet deadlines by stressing out about it. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Um, all right. So, uh, how do we read this? Sort by the best view, entire discussion. Uh, my husband, who is a type 9 of the Ennegron, is like that. I don't know what's the type 9 of an Ennegron, but... <laughs> yeah, time slots. It didn't work for me. I tried. It didn't work for me. I, for the guitar, it worked for me, but... No, I stopped. Because for me, it's repetitive and boring after a while. He almost panics at the thought of all he has to do, and he feels overwhelmed that he tries to distract himself and procrastinate any way he can. It's not like he's lazy, it feels overcommitted, anxious, and able to fuck. What he helped him? Okay, what has helped? Deciding on certain blocks of time to get S done, and then doing absolutely nothing for creative for the rest. Okay. I changing environment worked for me. Um like I got to cafeteria. Because they feel like being watched. That sounds familiar. Reward himself immediately after the work work by going out on lunch or by himself grab a special coffee drink. Why do you think I drink tea every time I'm streaming? <laughs> I often ask myself what I really want, and every time my first answer is not happiness but peace. I want to be at peace with who I am and what I'm doing and with life in general. Then I think, okay, music, keep dreaming, you idiot, and go play the most violent board game. I know, okay, Shaggy. And Enneagram is a personality type system that spies partial increase, numerology, and mysticism. I also have She's really really bad habit of making the project impossibly big and then psyching myself out. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's like you're you're putting the luggage on your back. Putting his phone away. The problem is I work on computer, so like I'm one literally what I'm doing is I click the Windows button. Uh what what do I do usually? Like open new tab, Y enter, and I'm on YouTube and getting distracted. That's all I need. Maybe I just have to block the YouTube. <laughs> uh. I, by the way, I at one point I had to block 9gag because I spent so much time on it. And it worked. Like, I blocked it so I wasn't able to watch it. So I managed to live without it. <sighs> but then, of course, I found other stuff. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it sounds to me like this person is motivating him, actually, not he himself. It seems like she is doing this for him, basically.
popping behind this the last minute gosh that's that sounds familiar <laughs> maybe i do have ADHD. adhd maybe i do have it who knows this sounds very familiar uh. yep i actually on christmas last last year i watched like my family played like children videos of like me being a child and i found i was so running everywhere and like oh gosh this looks like something's wrong with me um yeah Really bored by reading it. Uh, yeah, mindfulness, I tried that. It's calming, it's nice, but repetitive after a while. Dopamine from simple things like doing the dishes. I mean, I created a habit for myself, like to put stuff in the dishwasher. Um, and it does make you feel fulfilled because you've done it. But it's something I had to like train kind of my brain to do. Mm. yeah i would always ask us as a kid like why do i have to do it and my mom would be like because you have to that doesn't seem pleasurable at all. especially maintaining my room never never done it yeah like some people are like oh clean room makes me feel good and everything for me it's like feeling of emptiness <laughs> I don't know, I cannot explain. It's like like I prefer to have a lot of stuff then my brain can like get distracted, but if it's like empty, it's like my life is empty. Nothing to do. <laughs> you know it, you know maybe maybe we're more alike. <laughs> okay, let's see that. Right, I feel something like just finished. A chore now that is a what I call the job well done, great, and feel happy for no reason. I mean, I feel happy when I upload my tips for beginners video, like, I'm always happy, yeah, click the publish button because I set up a goal for myself, yeah. So, and it's short enough because it's not like the other videos where I have to uh, read the notes too much, it's divided into prepare. Records, edit, upload, divide it, it makes it more fun. Not like all at once. And it's also not long enough where you record one day, then the other have the other day you have to come back, but you forgot what you recorded already and you don't feel like doing it anymore. You can do it in one day, which makes it so good. Yeah, right, maybe? I know. Like I cannot explain that. I mean, there's this famous proverb of Einstein about the, the messy desk and whatever. Uh, messy desk means messy brain, clean desk means empty brain or whatever. Um, but I found people have different styles. This looks great. Uh, connected 131 pro tips. So there are still some ready tests. Uh, also, I recognize that sometimes I read something, then I get bored, and I read it quickly. And then because I read too quickly, I stop understanding what I'm reading. 
and then I get disinterested in the whole thing. So sometimes I have to slow myself down to like read stuff. So let's try to do that. Uh, they're split into categories. The general. Oh, okay, so now it's a general cleaning memory time blind. Time blindness, that's... I didn't know it's called time blindness. That's something that you have anything as well. Getting things done. Well, you, well, let's jump there. Sorry. Oh, pack things before you get... Before, so you don't forget. That's a good hint, actually. Don't drink alcohol. I don't. Do cardio before... I don't do cardio. <laughs> Uh, use text to speech generate. Text to speech generate. I didn't copy the whole thing. Is it too long? Oh. Hey. Okay. okay. Uh. Uh, uh, I have to pay for those. Okay, anyway, let's try this one. Convert to speech. Pack things the day before so you don't forget. You slash digital. Don't drink alcohol. That reminds me of those YouTube videos where they just read out the Reddit. Um, like to you, and it's annoying. Use that proverb to scold me into cleaning my room. Uh, the YouTuber I've watched has a lot mentioned. I do. An ADHD YouTuber I've watched a lot has also mentioned that they try to front load a lot of her work, but also typically has several different videos that are partially made that she can finish at any time when inspiration strikes. GLHF pledge mainly under. I don't know what's the front load. Yeah, it's like, okay, there are different voices actually. An ADHD YouTuber I've watched a lot has also mentioned that they try to. Anyway, um. Take a deep breath, which I just did. Okay. Get that therapist if you can. Colorful notes. Speaking of colorful notes. Uh, cabinet doors in the window. Time blindness. I have my Google talk to me every few hours, actually, so that, that helps. I noticed it helps. Um, getting fixed down. If you have an Android, put a widget from your Toto list app on your home screen so it's the first thing you see. You slash key underscore key. Break tasks down into as many smaller tasks as you need for it to feel manageable. Yes, that's a good one. Hey, Joey, see the voice. If it's distracting for you, you can change. <laughs> Front loading just means putting more work toward the beginning of a task as opposed to back loading. Oh. I see. So you just leave something nice at the end to like. It's perfect. Okay. Use Pomodoro. It's the second time somebody mentioned Pomodoro technique. How many Pomodoros might you need? Time for 25 minutes, then take 5 minutes break. Protect your Pomodoro. No sneaky working. Then take a longer break. Repeat four Pomodoros. Does it mean I have to buy an actual Pomodoro? 
to be able to. <laughs> I mean, that looks manageable. Never worked for you. I'm pretty sure I would take this short break and make it longer, basically. Yeah, what happens to me is I start playing Stardew Volley and I need to save the game, so I need to finish it and then I keep getting stuck there. <laughs> that's 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 what how it works for me. And sometimes I feel like doing something for hours and then I don't want to take a break actually. Yeah. Remember that something is better than nothing. That's something I keep repeating myself nowadays. That's something that I like. I I I got as you know teeth cleaning recently, and my dentist also said like, just floss your teeth like once a day. Just try to do it like doing something is better than nothing. That's what he said. And I'm like, oh, that's something I very good to say. And I've been flossing every day. Then, like, because I just start doing it and stop thinking about it. Because I'm like, oh, just don't stress about it, just do it. Yeah, doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, because you know, my issue would be that I set up the timer and then suddenly all my motivation to do things disappears. <laughs> because now I feel like everything I do has to matter. <sighs> so suddenly my perfect chance is like, nope, not good enough. Yep. Yep, sounds familiar. Yep. Lie to yourself. <laughs> oh, where is it? Lie to yourself. I would tell myself that I'm just going to unload one dish from dishwasher. Once I started, at least I'm like through and maybe the clean the whole that works for me. As I said with the teeth cleaning. I I just, yeah, just start doing it and then my brain's like, oh. I like it. Let me finish this. Um, oh, that's the works too. When you need transition between task pretend that you are talking to a friend who's having issues with some. This way you're more compassionate toward yourself. <laughs> Just make sure your break isn't too interesting. Oh, there's a point of breaks. Ah. <laughs> a common refrain I've heard recently is that cognitive behavior therapy is just gas like yourself to make healthy decisions. Cognitive behavior therapy is very good, I heard. Yeah, it's just you, you you create a new habit for your brain, which is kind of lying to your brain because then it's like, oh, I like it. <laughs> Brew your coffee and get as many chores done as you can. But that's stressful in a way. I don't like that. Uh, I've tried the brain dump. I just tends to put those lists somewhere and then forget about them. That's my problem. Like I have this whole notebook here where I write script for every video and I flip the page and I forget about what was there. I, when I was a kid, I used to have like this cork board and I would put stuff there. I was thinking maybe I should do something like this, but what ended up happening, I would Again, mess cluster the whole core board and lose things in it. Again, I don't know how to do that. Music triggers my daydreaming. I cannot do that. <laughs> I do listen to podcasts when I'm uh, doing boring stuff like peeling potatoes, though. I find it stimulating. I cannot do podcasts while reading or writing something because I cannot do them both at the same time. And then brings me to music, which this is distraction for me. So it's like my ears are a distraction for myself, it makes sense. Yeah.
and you know like reward yourself that you you need to have certain level of self control which i don't have to do it <laughs> which is self control to do it and i'm not able to do it like if there is a cookie in front of me i'm going to take it life is short start i start to explain it to myself yeah i can do it later Yeah, that uh, it helps with book reading. I just leave the computer, go to the other room. <sighs> this is the same of the Pomodoro. Yeah, so even though I read it all, did we learn anything? Like, it feels I've tried those already. You know what? <sighs> Although it pains me horribly. Hydrate. Oh. Bastard. <laughs> God, <the yellow. laughs> I do need that. that. Uh, chat we are gonna make a deal and it pains me horribly to do it but because i need to do it i'm gonna use you quest to enjoy shogi is every week and december 1st next week is when i'm gonna put up the christmas tree but it's totally unrelated to what we're talking about. The next stream on Thursday, we're gonna print those certificates together. And I'm gonna put it in my calendar. Print certificates and address them. And we're gonna choose a trophy for MIFA and a trophy for this season as well together because i need a need a notch and i'm gonna use you guys selfishly to do that and me by saying it i create the social pressure on myself to do it how about that i should do it alone but i'm gonna use you guys anyway i don't does this voice generator really work Voice generator. Like it, it seems to slow down my brain. Maybe I should be using those. How, how do I get a free version of that? Accountability is what chat is good for. Good. I shall use this. Uh, post something here. Play. Voice Generator, this web app allows you to generate voice audio from text, no login needed, and it's completely free. It uses your browser's built-in voice synthesis technology, and so the voices will differ depending on the browser that you're using. You can download the audio as a... I have no... Con Ugh. If it says Polish... Voice Generator, this web app allows you to generate... <laughs> okay, it does have Polish accent. Cool. But why is it the voice so irritating? Voice generator. This web app allows you to generate voice audio from text. No login needed, and it's completely free. It uses your browser's built-in voice synthesis technology. Oh, and it so doesn't the voices change the speech voice depending on the... That's how it sounds when I'm editing my videos and they watch them afterwards. Um. Voice generator, this web. Okay, we don't want pitch. Voice generator, this web app allows you to generate voice audio from text. Can I make it delete a bit faster so that my brain doesn't get bored? Voice generator, this web app allows you to generate voice audio from text. No login needed, and it's completely free. It uses your browser's built-in voice synthesis technology, and so the voices will differ depending on the browser that you're using. You can download. <laughs> 
do you guys have that thing when you like edit uh, <laughs> uh higher pitch voice generator this web app allows you to generate voice audio from text no login needed and it's completely free <laughs> It uses your browser's built-in voice synthesis technology, and so the voices will differ depending on the browser that you're using. You can download the audio as a file, but note that the downloaded voices may be different to your browser's voices because they're downloaded <laughs> from an external text-to-speech server. Uh, uh. Why does it stop though? Like there's more text. Uh. Download Google TTS audio. What's that? Right click on the player and find option. Oh, we can just save it on the computer, I guess. <laughs> I know. Um, like when you listen to something like on too quick of a speed when you're editing the video, does your brain like slow down afterwards? It's this weird feeling. I hate it. I hate that feeling. I, I have this feeling right now voice generator this web app and like the things voice that are normal this web app normal speed they feel very slow annoying another thing i notice a lot with projects the more dysfunctional it seems as long as it's vaguely related to the work done the better it tends to be i don't understand the more dysfunctional it seems as long as it's vaguely related to the work done Oh, I don't understand that. Like the best group projects I did in high school was the result of group uh, where all of us were memeing with each other, making jokes while getting things done. Yeah. Because it's fun, I would say. Because you make it entertaining for yourself. Anyway, we set up the goal for the next week. I might try this voice voice things actually. Here he's. The stray cat gave birth to kittens. Okay. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Maybe I should buy audiobooks. <sighs> it it connects so it connects with the idea that I'm actually a good like distracted by noises usually and I'm also motivated by noise. Makes sense. Anyway. Of course they are top priority. <laughs> Eating snacks is something I notice that my brain needs sometimes nowadays. The word isn't ending soon. That's a good advice. Okay, guys. Tired. Speaking of tasks to be done, I will have to do that. Okay. Meanwhile, in the other work, when getting through the slog, finding something fun in the middle makes me not feel like that. Yeah. Chewing. Yeah, I have the gum here. Actually, I, I do it. Often I drink tea and chew gum. That's why my special my practice. So I guess I mean we're not gonna solve the word in one stream or like fifteen minutes, whatever. Um there are issues we have to just be working on constantly. There are videos we have to continue uploading. There are memes we will have to be inspired to make as well. We got some few good ideas today. But you can overload you with ideas so that there are maybe one or two you might like it might help. Yeah. 
Yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> I ran out of tea and beginning to feel sleepy. Plus, it's almost lunchtime, so the body is like, I need sugar. <laughs> um, thanks for all the hints, links, uh, as if listening as well. Had fun. Definitely the most enjoyable stream we've done in a while. I mean, I enjoy all the streams, but considering this is the title specifically to enjoy Shoggy, I guess it's the most enjoyable so far of those. I will see you on Saturday and, of course, on YouTube. Um, if I figure out the variation, <laughs> I will figure it out. And see you on Discord as usual. Yeah, you too. Have a wonderful day as well, maybe. Bye bye.